Today we're going to be doing a little bit of theorizing, talking about the Eclipse Brion? I don't know if that's what it's going to be called, uh, but the new Moon Brion or Eclipse Brion. And we're going to compare that to some evolving skies, we're going to compare it to some other sets, kind of look at some pull rates and kind of maybe predict what the pull rates could be and how hard this card could be to pull and what the prices maybe could be. So if you guys haven't seen, this is these are the evolutions from the new set that's coming out in January, Prismatic Evolutions. Obviously, there's a lot of hype about this set. It's being compared to Evolving Skies, possibly being called Evolving Skies 2.0. This set does have a few things over Evolving Skies, as it has actually all of the evolutions in its set, where Evolving Skies did not have that. Like, I, for example, I believe it was the Espeon was in Fusion Strike, and then the Jolteon and Vaporeon and Flareon were released as promos, so they weren't actually in the set. They were in these other boxes, right? At least as far as English goes. So this is going to be the first set that has all of them, right? So we're mainly talking about this card here because this card is going to be probably the card that most people are chasing just and probably the most valuable because of the popularity of the Pokemon, right? Uh, a lot of these other cards look good too, but the Umbreon is what we're focusing on in this video. And to start, we're going to compare this to 151. Now hear me out. Just talking about pull rates because 151 is a set that is very popular right now it's exploded recently and i think it's a good example for specialty sets now if we look at this this pull rate right here for this is from tcg player of 1500 packs that they opened and one out of 32 for a special illustration rare is actually pretty easy these would be old like scarlet violet base pull rates where you get one per booster box and you when you do that times the number of special illustration rares you get one out of 225 packs so if you're looking for the charizard it would take 225 packs on average to pull that card if you, if we were to take this number one out of 32 which i think is easy uh crown zenith is another specialty set that has easy pull rates right so if we're to use this number prismatic evolutions right here on Poke Beach when they revealed this set, they were saying that this is supposed to have 32 special illustration rares. So if you do 32 times 32, that's 1,024. So to pull a specific SIR, oh, I cannot highlight this, it would be one in over 1,000 packs. If these are easy pull rates, okay? Which I predict they will with a set, with the special illustration rare like, set that's that big, 32, it would have to be kind of these easier pull rates is kind of what I'm guessing. We don't know for sure and we won't know for a while, but one out of a, we'll just call it a thousand, one out of a thousand packs. So if you want to look at what a card out of one out of 225 goes for, that's the Charizard. Charizard from 151 obviously had a big run up recently. It was around 120, $130 for a while, ran up to 217, went back down to 180. And now it's possibly coming up a little bit. It looks like. We'll zoom in a little bit on this one month. Yeah, so it looks like it's bouncing up into the 180s again. So if you were to do the math on that, we'll just say, I, and once again, this is not, I'm not saying that this is gonna happen or anything. This is just for fun, right? We're just talking about what it could be if we're going off of the Charizard. So if the Charizard's at, we'll just call it 185, and we're pretty much gonna say the pull rates are four times as hard. So if we times that times four, that would be a $740 card. If we were to use those numbers, that's where it would put it. Now, if you want to go 120, obviously 120 times 4, $480 card. That seems a lot more reasonable. Not that the not that this Eclipse Brion can't go literally to the moon. It's definitely possible. Uh, we're going to look at a few other sets here just to kind of make a few comparisons, right? To finish it off, we're not going to use only 151. Uh, but yeah, so 32 Special Illustration Rares. That's a lot for our sets. Either way, it's going to be hard. We just don't know how hard it's going to be. Now, if you want to refer it to Evolving Skies and the Moonbryon, the Moonbryon is pretty much one out of, we'll call it 2,000, one out of 1994. And TCG player opened 8,000 packs to get these numbers. So essentially, if you want to compare it that way, and once again, this is just going off pull rates, the Eclipse Brion would be half half easier right 
uh, give or take, right? So if you want to take the Moonbrion price and divide it by two, uh, that would get us with, you know, w what the Eclipse Brion would be. Now, currently, market price on this, the Moonbrion is 1200 However, most recent sales, we're seeing 1450 on TCG Player. There's a 1500 down here. So uh, we'll use the, we we'll use both. If it's 1200 obviously divided by two, that would make the Eclipse around a $600 card, which would definitely make it the most expensive card in the current, the SV era, which is a scenario I could see happening. Once again, pull rates are gonna really gonna affect this. If they make the pull rates even easier, then that might be a little different. But the Moonbrion is very difficult to pull and obviously just going crazy. Uh, if you wanna use the, we'll just call this one 1500, right? If you use 1500, it'd be $750 for the Eclipse Rion. Once again, I don't know how accurate this is going to be, and there's so much hype behind Prismatic Evolutions. It's, it's, I don't know. It's, it's hard to judge. Uh, we'll take a look at Twilight, Twilight Masquerade. Now, this lines up if you did the numbers for any specific SIR, because there's less SIRs in Twilight, but the pull rates are harder. It's pretty close to what we, we calculated for the Eclipse Brion. I don't know if I can keep calling it the Eclipse Brion. Anyways, we'll do it for this video, but pretty much one out of a thousand. And the, uh, the Eclipse Brion was like a, just over a thousand. So we'll call them close enough. So if you want to make a comparison there, you could compare it to the Greninja as far as difficulty. The Greninja right now is just over a $300 card. It, it went down as low as 260. It had a recent run up into the 320s. And now it's... At 300, last sold 315, 310, 320. So I could see a comparison comparing the two. I think, I think it will definitely surpass the Greninja. I would have to assume, if the pull rates are even, even if they're the same, I think the popularity of Umbreon can you can't deny it. One last comparison that we're gonna make to a recent card, which I know it just came out. Okay, we're just this is just for fun, right? <laughs> Don't crucify me in the comments. Actually, go ahead. I don't care. Let me know in the comments what you guys think. Uh, the Pikachu from Surging Sparks. Now, this card's actually been going up on TCG. It's at, they got it at 390 market right now. Pre-release was selling at 300. I would assume, I don't have, I couldn't find the TCG player pull rates for this set. I thought they were released, but I couldn't find it when I was searching for it. I want to say it was one out of 960, which puts it at about the same. So Pikachu versus Umbreon, essentially, these are pre-release prices. 400 call it just it's almost at 400 last sold 389 there was a 430 and a 400 on here as this goes on there will be more of this card some more supply will come in right that's pretty standard we don't know what this card's going to do though because we'll go hop back to the greninja for a second if we zoom out here i guess this is no one year chart you can see the the Greninja came out at 150, went down to 118, and then it just shot up and up and up. So it's possible that the Pikachu could, could continue to climb with the new market, the new demand, right? That is totally possible. We don't know where this card's going to end up. It could end up four or 500. I could see that. It could drop back down to 300 high twos. I could see that as well. <laughs> There's just no way of knowing. So at the end of the day, when we compare, when we compare this, when we compare the cards, it could be, you know, it's it's a wide range. Pull rates are going to play a factor. Let's say, let's play devil's advocate and say that for some reason the pull rates are much harder. They're closer to Evolving Skies, like 1,900, 2,000 packs to pull that Eclipse Brion. Then the sky is honestly the limit. I don't think that the Pokemon company is going to do that. I think there's no way they make it that difficult. Uh, but, I mean, if they did, it'd be... The, the, the market would just explode. It would be a feeding frenzy. Those cards would be so expensive. I, PSA 10s would be insane. I, I don't even know where that would go. Uh, but it's kind of more safer to say it's going to be between 300 on the low end and 700 on the high end. And I know that that's a wide range and it's impossible to tell. This was just a for fun video. Okay. We just wanted to compare the, compare the cards a little bit. We don't even know what else is going to be in Prismatic, we have no idea. We haven't seen the illustration rares. We haven't even seen the other special illustration rares. So, you know, but so this is theorizing off of pull rates, what prices could be. Uh, let me know if you guys, you know, let me know what you guys think the card will be 
in the in the comments. Let me know what your price your price range would be. Uh, just guess, just for fun. Um, it's not not really serious. So um, I will say this: kind of my closing thoughts on prismatic evolutions of what we know now. Earlier on. I will say this earlier on, like before we saw the cards revealed and I, I saw some stuff saying, Oh, evolving skies 2.0. I saw that. Right. I thought, yeah, I don't think so. Uh, I, I don't think so. Part of that was just because of the images that were associated with the articles at the time. It wasn't obviously of cards. It was just of the evolutions with the crowns. Not that, not that I, not that I don't think the crown cards can be successful because obviously they can, but it was, I was having a hard time. I didn't know where they were going to take it. And now seeing the SIRs and I understand how they could be controversial just because art is really subjective. I've heard this is going to be the next, this, this, obviously this Eclipse Beyond is going to be the best card ever. And I've heard, Ooh, that sucks. I don't even like that card. Um, so, you know, I've heard it all over the place. Comments, uh, in the in the discord as well but what i can say is that this is going to be crazy either way uh, especially because of the market the market getting crazy right now is a, an insane factor so you have to think like back to covid demand a little bit kind of it's kind of what we're seeing there's not they're not able to either they're not able to print to demand or they're they're building hype uh, either way doesn't really matter. It's it's what we're in. So, um, yeah, all I know is that I'm excited for the set. And it does have more potential than I originally thought uh, to possibly be in Evolving Skies 2.0 with all of the cards included. Couldn't get them all in Evolving Skies, all the evolution. So, things could get really wild. If it's one out of a thousand for SIRs, things could get crazy. If it's worse than that, things are going to be insane. I don't think they'll do that. But anyways, I'm rambling. I'm starting to repeat myself. That's going to do it for this one, guys. I'll catch you in the next one. And remember, it was never a phase.